friends and welcome to this video where we are going to discuss answers to top 5 financial modeling interview questions that of course are most commonly asked. Now I'll give you a structure of the way in which you should answer rather than giving you a complete answer about things. So if you really want to deep dive into the theory part as well as the practical part, you can check out Financial Modeling Club on Skill 91. Let's jump in. Also, please feel free to put down your questions in the comment section so that we can pick them up next. All right, so then the question number one is walk me through the three financial statements and how they are interconnected. Now, how do you give this explanation? This question is actually testing your understanding of three primary financial statements. Ko lekar ke. That is the income statement, PNL, the balance sheet and of course the cash flow statement. So, you have to explain karna hoga the purpose of each statement, their key components and how they relate to each You should highlight the flow of information between these statements such as the net income hoti hai, uh, that affects the retained earning and cash flow from operating activities that influences the balance sheet. The second question that's most commonly asked is how will you build a financial model to project a company's future financial performance? Here goes the explanation. Well, this question is actually assessing your ability to construct a financial model, which uh, of course involves forecasting a company's financials based on assumptions and historical data. You should discuss the key components of financial model here, such as revenue projections, expense forecasts, working capital considerations, and capital expenditure planning. You emphasize emphasized over the importance of using appropriate formulas and functions to ensure accurate calculation. The third question is, what are the key drivers or assumptions you will consider when you are building a financial model for any specific industry? Explanation. Well, financial modeling requires identifying and incorporating relevant industry specific drivers and assumptions. You should discuss the industry factors that significantly impact the company's financial performance. Just like market growth rate, pricing dynamics, uska input cost, unke regulatory environment or competitive landscape jis mein wo kaam kar you must also demonstrate your understanding of how these drivers they influence revenue they influence expenses and overall profitability as i said these all explanations require a thorough understanding of financial modeling which you can definitely check out in the theoretical section of our financial modeling course moving forward the fourth question how will you analyze a company's financial statements to assess its financial health and performance Explanations like this. Well, this question is evaluating your ability to perform financial statement analysis. So you should explain the key ratios here and the metrics that you will use to assess a company's financial health, just like profitability ratios uh, like gross margin, net profit margin, liquidity ratios like uh, current ratio, quick ratio. You have leverage ratios like uh, debt to equity ratio or efficiency ratios, just like inventory turnover, accounts receivable turnover ratio. You should also discuss how trends and comparisons with industry benchmark can also provide valuable insight. Moving forward to the fifth question, walk me through a discounted cash flow analysis and its significance in valuing a company most commonly asked. Well guys, DCF analysis is a widely used method for valuing a company by estimating its future cash flows and then discounting them to their present value. You should explain the steps involved in DCF analysis, including forecasting cash flows, determining the appropriate discount rate that is VAC, weighted average cost of capital, and then calculating the present values of those cash flows. You should also discuss the significance of DCF in determining a company's intrinsic value and potential investment opportunities. Well, guys, when you are answering these questions, you should ensure that you should provide very clear explanations. You should also demonstrate your knowledge of financial modeling concepts and you should showcase your ability to apply these concepts to real world scenarios. Uh, please, as I said, drop your questions in the comment section. We'll get, we'll get a help and understanding of what videos do you want next. Thank you so much and please consider subscribing to our channel.